Hello everyone, we shall discuss about susceptibility weighted imaging. The susceptibility weighted imaging sequence is composed of both magnitude and phase images. This is a phase image and this is a magnitude image. In this video we are mainly focusing on how to differentiate calcium from blood. Calcium is diamagnetic substance that is it is devoid of unpaid electrons and it creates weak local magnetic field inhomogeneity. The phase shift generated is negative and appears black on left-handed scanners. The point to remember here is many of the scanners which we use clinically are right-handed scanners which show positive phase for calcium and hence appears white. And this signal is exactly opposite to the signal created for blood or any paramagnetic substance like iron. We have to use internal reference because of the manufacturer variability and hardness of the system and therefore it helps in distinguishing between diamagnetic and paramagnetic substances. Calcium hydroxy apatite on left-handed scanners it appears dark in right-handed scanners, it appears bright. Paramagnetic substances like deoxyhemoglobin, ferritin, hemosiderin, they appear bright on left-handed scanners and dark on right-handed scanners. Siemens and Canon systems are generally left-handed. GE and Philips scanners generally use right-handed systems. This is the point to be remembered by using physiologic calcifications, that is pineal gland calcification or choroid plexus calcification and deoxygenated hemoglobin that is seen in veins or dural sinuses can be used as internal controls. The directionality of phase shifts can be validated to correlate phase data to diamagnetic and paramagnetic material. This is a sagittal filter phase image. We can see the pineal gland calcification which is white and this is vein which is black in color and these two are taken as internal reference for a right-handed system. So here in this picture Veins are appearing black, suggesting it is a right-handed system. Here on SWI magnitude images, you can see area of blooming. The corresponding area on phase images shows bright signal, indicating it as calcium and it's a right-handed system. On CT, you can see properly it is calcification rather than blade product. We should always check for actual filtered phase images because the phase image must undergo processing as the raw phase images they produce artifacts especially in skull based regions so filtered phase images are to be looked. As we discussed earlier susceptibility weighted imaging has both magnitude and phase images. This is a magnitude image showing blooming so they can be calcification or blade product but on filtered phase image the same area showing bright signal or opposite signal to magnitude image suggesting it has calcification. So the point always to be remembered is we should do coronal and sagittal reconstruction of filtered phase images. This part is called as torus and this part is called as dumbbell. This is a filtered phase sagittal recon image corresponding to this area of calcification on CT showing the torus as dark signal and the dumbbell as bright signal which is characteristic of diamagnetic substances like calcium. As discussed earlier, this is a sagittal reconstructed filtered phase image showing a black torus and white dumbbell like this and it is calcification. Filtered phase image showing areas of blooming and on reconstructed image it is having a white torus and black dumbbell like this representing it as a microbleed. As we mentioned earlier, right-handed systems are commonly used. So these paramagnetic substances like bread products have the torus which is white and dumbbell which is black in color on reconstruction images. The diamagnetic substances which we discussed earlier has the torus which is black and dumbbell which is white in color. Here you can see the black torus and white dumbbell. In summary, you can see areas of blooming here on susceptibility weighted magnitude image and corresponding axial and coronal reformatted image showing a white torus and black dumbbell indicating it is created by paramagnetic substance. On CT there is no evidence of calcification. Here on this CT image you can see choroid plexus calcification and on MRI susceptibility weighted magnitude image showing areas of blooming and these are axial and coronal reformatted images showing a black torus and white dumbbells like this and it is created by diamagnetic substance that is calcium. Let's see the practical aspect. This patient is hypertensive, susceptibility magnitude image showing area of blooming so it can be either a blood product or calcification and the corresponding filtered phase image showing white signal that's why it is calcification rather than microbleed. This is another patient who is hypertensive, axial susceptibility magnitude image showing areas of blooming and the corresponding filtered phase image showing a black signal or dark signal and so it is a microbleed rather than calcification. Thank you. Hope this video was helpful to you.